But let's return now to the politics and uh, joining us, the human rights campaigner and LGBTQ activist Peter Tatchell, who, of course, has been out in Doha. Uh, Peter, your reaction to this, uh, lots of fans groups saying that they've bottled it. Absolutely. Um, FIFA promised an inclusive World Cup without discrimination. Yet when the teams wanted to wear a small symbol to show their opposition to discrimination, basically FIFA has bullied them into submission. It's strong arm tactics. It's really disgraceful. Instead of players being threatened with yellow cards, FIFA and Qatar should get the red card. Is there a strange reverse logic about this, that this actually adds to the cause by the very fact this decision has been made? You're absolutely right. Um, you know, the issue has become so big precisely because of the missteps by Qatar and FIFA. They are making discrimination, human rights, and so on, they're making it the issue of the World Cup which it wouldn't have been if they hadn't kicked up a fuss and hadn't imposed these bullying tactics. I think most people, whatever they think about these issues, will find it quite extraordinary that FIFA is prepared to bully players into submission with these draconian threats. Um, it really has no place in football, this kind of bullying. It's precisely what football is supposed to oppose, you know, that the Football World Cup Officials have long spoken out against discrimination and bullying, yet here they are using the same tactics themselves. Yeah. It's complete hypocrisy. The, the authorities seem to say politics and sport should be two different things. But of course, the other issue is that we are playing Iran and uh, many of the uh, Iranian protesters groups, the, the women's protesters groups, say that they should again be some kind of statement this afternoon on, on that. I mean, is there a danger that everything comes into the sporting arena uh, and uh, really it, it sort of dilutes the message almost? Well, you know... <laughs> The, the, the protesters groups, they are standing on the side of human rights, which FIFA itself says it upholds. You know, in FIFA's own statutes, it talks about human rights. Yet when it comes to expressing support for human rights, mm. FIFA is trying to dampen and suppress any expression. Um, it really is so wrong when you think about what's happening in Iran right now. Yeah. In Iran, 15,000 people have been arrested and jailed many face the prospect of the death penalty, execution for peacefully protesting in the streets or writing or holding a sign uh, opposing the dictatorship. Um, of course, people should speak out. And I do hope that Harry Kane will, at his post-match press conference, make a short, brief statement expressing his support and solidarity with the Iranian democracy protesters. That yeah. would be a very honourable thing to do. And, and, of course, uh, we should also reflect, uh, I think Gareth Bale was planning to wear the uh, One Love armband in the match uh, this evening for Wales versus the USA. Now, where, where do you stand, Peter? Because you were out there. We reported on what happened to you and, and followed that story. Are you going to attempt to get back out there and maybe carry on the message? I think it's best if I remain silent on that point. But as of the right. moment, I don't have any plans to go back. Although I would love to, but I think um, having got away with it once, I think I might be um, testing my chances if I tried it again. Yeah, OK. And, and what would your advice or your message be to those LGBT fans thinking of travelling and uh, seeing perhaps how things go in these early rounds and, and then making a decision to get out there? I think going to Qatar for any fan is risky because... Qatar and FIFA have given certain assurances, mm. but they've repeatedly broken them. So how can we trust them when they say that LGBT plus fans will be safe? You know, they, they promised that there'd be beer at the stadiums. That's been kiboshed. Um, they promised a media friendly games, but recently a Danish TV crew was harassed and even had threats to have their cameras smashed by Qatari officials. Um, we just cannot trust FIFA or Qatar and I think it's best to stay away, not just for personal safety, but also don't go because going there is colluding with a basically sexist, homophobic and racist dictatorship. 
I think we got the message. Peter, thank you very much for joining us here on GB News once more. And uh, I think maybe we'll be talking to you again before the end of the tournament. Who knows? Thanks very much indeed. Well, as we've just been reporting, the Football Supporters Association, representing all the fans, has it expressed what it called its contempt for FIFA after that decision to ditch the armbands. Uh, this is some of their statement. Today we feel betrayed. Today we feel contempt for an organisation that has shown its true values by giving the yellow card to players and the red card to tolerance. Went on to say, never again should a World Cup be handed out solely on the basis of money and infrastructure. No country which falls short on LGBT plus rights, women's rights, workers' rights or any other universal human rights should be given the honour of hosting a World Cup. Pretty strong stuff.